Hey guys, I'm going to be doing another review. Today it's going to be on the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. I am... I love this figure. It's so good. Some of the figures I have up there, some of the other figures of Optimus Prime that I have, I absolutely love those. But this one is at the top. So, here we have him in his truck mode. But... I will say this, the price that they're giving this figure, it does not deserve a $50 price. This figure do deserves like a $30 or $20 price. But, but besides the prices, this is his truck mode. And it's just like a G1 truck mode. I love it. He's got his gas tan tanks. Silver rimmed, besides this one. Yeah, all of them are silver except for that one. And that one. And yeah, it's pretty good. I love the. I love that he comes with this trailer. And this is also an accessory, which I will get to in full up mode. And he does come with his gun. He comes with his gun. And to store his gun. There we go. To store his gun. It's gonna be like this. This gray peg is gonna go into that port right there. I don't usually, whenever I'm in truck mode, whenever I have this figure in truck mode, I don't really keep that gun there. I, I usually keep it in the trailer, but I don't really display him in, in his truck mode. If you can't tell. So, let's get to uh, robot mode. All right. Let's get situated here. I'm gonna take off this gun. I'm gonna put this trailer. Oh wait, wait. I forgot to do uh, size comparisons. Right. Here he is with um one step changer bumblebee from the bumblebee movie. And I think that scale is pretty good. Here he is with Transformers Power of the Primes. Um Outback. I think that that's also good. And then here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. And yeah, I think that looks good also. And also, um, I haven't really tried this, but let me just see. Uh, yeah, that back will fit in there. Yeah, this becomes a shield. Yeah, All right. Now, let's get to robot mode. All right. Let's get to robot mode. So the first thing you're gonna do, push in these tanks, and you're done. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. You're gonna flip out the wheels, flip this panel here, and flip this panel here. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to flip this whole piece up, then pull out the arm, pull out this panel, and then flip out the hand, and then put that panel back in there. Same thing on the other side. There we go. Okay. Right. And then you're going to turn the waist around, flip in these two back panels there. And then flip this bumper around, flip the wheels in, there you go. And flip down the legs, flip up the feet, flip 
up the heels, spread out the legs. And then we're going to flip this out, flip the head out, put this back in. Flip these panels in here, put those in there, flip this in, flip this in, and I'll tap in right there. And I love how that works. I love how that works. It's so good and cool. And there he is in robot mode. And I think he looks so good. He looks just like the original G1 Optimus. Well, not the figure, but the he looks animation accurate. All right, so now to some details. So he has a nice head. Now this is not the actual Earthrise head. This is the Siege head. Because I switched out because I like it. I like how it all has all the silver in the face, while the, the Earthrise one has all the blue. And then got a nice chest, nice silver, nice red. Nice details, and he is boost compatible. And he has blue metallic hands. I don't know why they went with this, but I, I, I like it. <laughs> he also has it there on his crotch. And the back, in my opinion, is great. <laughs> I love how they, they engineered this. I love how they put all the wheels here. Well, these two wheels, I mean. And he's got some nice detail here in the back of the legs. Unlike the Siege one. So, now, articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Arms can go 360 degrees. Arms can move out there. Uh, bicep rotation. Elbows go 90 degrees. And swivel. And move out. Well, fingers move in and out. Waist rotation, but it is injured with this. Uh, legs can move that far, more than siege. And yeah, that, that likes to come off a little bit. And then legs can move back that far. Legs, well, you did full splits. Thigh rotation, over 90 degrees of bend. And then, uh, um, ankles rotation, and then some up and down at the foot. And, yeah. Oop. Off the camera. And then, it's gone. I flip this out, and then there's this gun. It, this takes this takes well in my opinion takes uh, engineering from the from MP10 also and you can just hold his gun like that in there and he does have ports on his forearm to put the shield that came from the trailer and then it'll just peg in on his forearm just like that it off for the rest of the review and then um, for the trailer obviously it opens like this just get the shield back and no roller unfortunately and um, he does come with the anti-aircraft gun he can't stand up and you can do that original G1 thing where he stands in the middle. That's actually how he's packaged, actually. <laughs> it's actually uh, pretty cool. And the anti-aircraft gun can actually come off. Well, it can unpeg them. And then this peg right here will peg in to the back of Optimus. 
Um, he's got a little helper on him. <laughs> and it, it is a little goofy, but I do like it. It's, it's goofy and funny and cool at the same time, in my opinion. And then one thing that I'd like to do is flip it down, turn it around, and then flip the arms down like this. And have, have it like that. And in my opinion, it looks like the jetpack from that one episode where he uses, uh, sideswipes the jetpack. And yeah, that's, that's super cool. Now, size comparison. One second. Size comparisons. Here he is with the G1 Optimus. This is Walmart exclusive. Here he is with um, Cyberverse Optimus. Taller than Cyberverse. Here he is with um, Voyager last night Optimus Prime and yeah he is a little shorter than him and here he is with um, one step changer uh, Bumblebee movie Bumblebee I think that scale is, I think that's the right scale in the movie. I'm not going to display that one, but. Oh, wait, there is one more accessory, but I'll, I'll show you after, after this last comparison. And here he is with the Siege Optimus. But I didn't take off the panels there, there, and on the back of the forearms, and the big panel on the back. Just because I, I didn't like all that stuff there, and you can tell how how much Earthrise took from Siege. And obviously the guns are different, different forearms, different chest, different um, different arms, different legs, different chest, and different back and you can tell how much the earth rise is way better than the siege I mean the siege is still good it's just I'd rather the, the earth rise at this point there's that comparison but there is one last thing that I love about this figure and it has to do with the chest. You open the chest, and there is the matrix of leadership in all its glory. <laughs> and it is removable, but but I did add some gold details to to um, I tried to make it animation accurate, but the whole reason why is just it looked a little plain like that. And there's the matrix. It's a very, in my opinion, it's a very good matrix of leadership. And it is hollow to put a bloosh, as MGO would call it. It is bloosh compatible. Oops, I keep bumping into the camera. And yeah, I love this figure. If you can get any, if you can get it anywhere else for at least $30, get it. You should get it if it's thirty dollars, but if the only if the price that you can find is only like um, fifty, then uh, you might have to make some choices. But still, this is an awesome, awesome figure. I love this thing. And there you go. This is the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh. And 
I am thinking of making a stop motion in it today. I'm not sure when, because I'm going to the comic book store today also. So I may or may not get some stuff over there and then make a stop motion with it. But make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Well, it, like and subscribe, because I don't know why the comments won't turn on. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.